Hello, thank you for coming to this video today guys. I really appreciate it. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to delegate to any stake pool with the Ledger Nano S and Ledger Nano X. Um, Tracer is not accepted yet, but it will also be pretty much the same stuff. Um, so firstly, we need to make sure that we have Ledger Live downloaded on your home computer. Um, you need to come down here and we need to go to Manager. Um, also, if you guys want to support my channel, feel free to read the description down below. Those are ways you can support me. I also have a stake pool called Bloom. Um, we're a pretty killer stake pool. We're, we're one of the best. We're among, among the best in rewards. We're also among the best in the value that we bring into the community with these videos and helping people out in the, in the channels. So make sure you guys check out my pool. We will actually be delegating to my pool in this video. Um, for whatever reason, Ledger Live is giving me some trouble. Uh, so what you guys have to do is you have to come to this manager section right here and you have to search Cardano and download Cardano onto your ledger. Your ledger has to be plugged into your computer, initialized, make sure you have your secret key written down for the ledger. I'm sure I can't, I'm sorry I can't show you guys that in this video because ledger live is being a little annoying to me. But yep, just make sure your ledger live is updated all the way. Make sure your ledger, ledger nano X or S is updated all the way. And then you have to have the Cardano app downloaded, okay? Um, and also, what's really cool, uh, we're going to be doing in this video another thing, is I'm going to be showing you guys how to delegate to any stake pool, even if they're not listed in Daedalus, because there's this GUI issue going on in Daedalus right now. A lot of people can't see my stake pool or anyone else's stake pool. So by doing this, you can actually use the public key from Pool Tool and post that in this wallet that we're about to use. So we can get my public pool IDs here. So I'm gonna have this link down below. Remember this works for anyone's stake pool. So if you can't find your favorite stake pool operator, all you have to do is take this pool ID. Also, you don't even need to have a Ledger Nano X or S to do this. You can just create a normal wallet. But I do want to include the Ledger in this video. So if you come here, look, there's two pool IDs. Look, if you just search Bloom on pool tool, uh, I'll have these in the link down below too. Um, all you got to do is just copy it. So we're going to be delegating to Bloom 2 right here because um, Bloom 2 has been up for two days, but it's actually hidden in Daedalus. Um, as you can see right here, Bloom 1 has 105 million ADAs delegated to it, which is awesome. I appreciate all the support, guys. But um, we're going to be delegating to Bloom 2 because there's only 2.5 million delegated to that, and that's just the pledge, obviously. So we're going to go ahead and copy that or copy whatever stake pool we want. Um, and then I'm going to have to log out here because I was just testing this out. So this is pretty simple. All you guys are going to have to do is now open up your ledger. Remember, it has to be initialized. You have to be signed into it. So you're going to go ahead and type in that code, which I'm doing right now. Cool. So then you'll get to the screen where you can actually select your apps. And I'm sure you hear Windows actually trying to uh, talk to me. Okay, so now that we're here, you see all your apps. You might see Bitcoin, you might see Ethereum, whatever whatever you like, and ADA, obviously. So we're going to go ahead and click ADA. And then if you guys don't have a Ledger Nano S, you guys can always just use the mnemonic, um, which is like just writing down the normal phrase that Daedalus uses. Or you can use an encrypted JSON file. Um, if I were you, I would just go with the mnemonic key phrase right here um, if you don't have a Ledger Nano S. So then go ahead and click this one right here because remember we're doing that so look now we're to the hardware part so now from the ledger we're going to go ahead and open the cardano ada app so once we have the cardano ada app opened up we can click unlock with ledger okay so now after you click unlock with ledger it should say uh, your ledger should say export public key and then you want to go ahead and click confirm so you're going to click both the buttons or one button depending if you have the s or not and then it's going to ask you to confirm once again uh, confirm that so you, you're not actually sharing your secret key with this and sometimes it asks you twice it's pretty annoying but look i click confirm and look we're in this wallet so this is the staking section right here so this is the sending and receiving section that you guys are all used to um, i didn't actually have any ada on this wallet prior to doing this so if you guys do, you might have to make a new address, a new Shelly address, and send that ADA over there to do that. But um, another thing you guys can do is take one of these addresses down here, copy the address, send money that you recovered from Daedalus um, over to one of these addresses, and that's, like I said, to stake to any stake pool. So for example, we're going to go ahead and copy in that public key that we got earlier, 
and look, getting stake pool info. Look, Bloom 2, ticker Bloom. This is the rarest stake pool there is, guys. You cannot see Bloom 2 on, Bloom 2 on Daedalus. This is a rare find right here. So if you guys appreciated this video, um, I mean, it was a pretty simple one, but I think it was important to get out. Not a lot of people know about Ada Light, but this is a way that you can delegate to people's stake pools even though Daedalus is having this GUI issue. And it's another way that you can also use Ledger to protect your keys. So Ledger's a safe way, so using Ada Light with this and the, how fast these guys, remember this is developed by Vacuum Labs, how fast they actually got this out is amazing. Um, and it's awesome that they have this right here. I mean, the fact that Daedalus doesn't have this feature, the fact that Daedalus can't just look up a public pool ID is stupid, especially when you're, no, when you're gonna have GUI issues like this, it's stupid, right? So it's, uh, it's awesome that we can look this up. Uh, thank you to Vacuum Labs. Um, Vacuum Labs, from, from what I've heard, is a trustable place. Um, they're actually developing a stable coin with either Emergo or IOHK. Um, so they're trusted. But yep, yeah, that's really it. Remember, if you guys have any questions down below, uh, make sure you guys ask those. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Um, share this around. This will actually let people delegate to um, people that they don't have the pool IDs and also let people delegate if they want to use their ledger currently. But yeah, thank you for this video. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.